we have a case over here we have a simple equation x by 4 is equal to y by 3 is equal to z by 2 and 7x plus 8y plus 5z is 62. Now here either we can there are two ways whether you can make it as k so z will be equal to 2k y is equal to 3k x is equal to 4k and substitute and get the values or we can do by the process of elimination so let's try to get whole numbers so if it is x is 4 so you get 4 by 4 1 then y by 3 is going to be again 3 by 3 1 and z by 2 suppose it is <clears throat> is 1 and z by 2 is also 1 so 4 3 2 satisfy this condition now let us check whether it satisfy this condition 7 into 4 is 28 8 into 3 24 28 plus 24 is 52 then 2 into 5 10 so yes it is equal to 62 hence we get it that way so we are doing by substitution and we get this as the right answer the other way as i told you can make it equal to k so you get z is equal to 2k y is equal to 3k and x is equal to 4k these three values can be substituted over here and hence you get 9k and 5 plus 4k and accordingly we get the value of k once you get the value of k we can substitute back over here and get the value of x y z etc hence we have <coughs> and accordingly we get these kind of equations right and how to solve these equations now let's see what we have whether this is the right answer and yes we do have 4 3 and 2 as the right answer furthermore let's see what we have in often okay here we have an interesting case we have x y upon x plus y is equal to 20 y z upon y plus z is equal to 40 and z x upon z plus x is equal to 24. Now best thing there is try to keep the variables simplified in the denominator so we rather do the invert the ratios. So we end up getting x plus y upon x y is equal to 1 by 20 and y plus z upon y z is 1 by 40 and z plus x upon z x is equal to 1 by 24. So we get three equations. Now further simplify the same as x upon x by y x y which is going to be 1 upon y and y upon x y which is 1 upon x is equal to 1 by 20. We can call this as 1. This one y z by y y upon y plus z is 1 by z. z upon y z is 1 by y is equal to 1 by 40. Then z upon z plus x upon z will turn out to be 1 by x plus 1 by z is 1 by 24. So you get three equations. Now you need to work on this. If you add 1, 2 and 3, we end up getting 1 by y plus 1 by y, 2 by y, 1 by x plus 1 by x, 2 by x, 1 by z plus 1 by z, 2 by z, which can be written as 2 bracket 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z will be equal to 1 by 20 plus 1 by 40 plus 1 by 24 which can be now written we can take the LCM as maybe 120 and you get 120 6 plus 3 plus 5 and you get 2 times 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is 14 by 120, you cancel it and you get 7 by 120. So 1 by x plus 1 by, you can call this as equation number 4. 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is this. Now we can just subtract each of these from this. So 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 would give you 1 by z is 7 by 120 minus 120 minus 20 
So it should turn out to be 7 minus 6 upon 120 and hence you get 1 by 120 and Z will turn out to be 120. Right, because what we have done is 4 minus 1 that is this minus this will give you 1 by Z and it will be 7 by 120 minus 1 by 20. That is hence Z is 120. Same way you can do 4 minus 2, this 4 minus this 2 will give you 1 by x. The so 1 by z, 1 by y and this 1 by z, 1 by y is bound to get cancelled and you end up getting 7 by 120 minus 1 by 40 which will turn out to be 7 minus 3 by 120 which should be 4 upon 120 or 1 by 30. So x will turn out to be 30. If you want you can substitute these two any one of these values and get the value of y or you can do 4 minus 3 and 4 minus 3 if you do it 1 by x 1 by z and these don't get cancelled and you are left with only 1 by y is 1 by 7 by 120 minus 1 by 24 which will be 7 minus 5 by 120 which is 2 by 120 which is 1 by 60 and you get y as 60. So ultimately you have y is 60, x is 30 and you have z as 120. So it's going to be 30, 60, 120. So this is how we solve these equations. First we just invert it, <coughs> convert this into equations like this. You get all three of them you add and you end up getting the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. So ultimately in all of these, this two, we are eliminating variables and from two equations, one and two variables, three variables and one and two variables, you are obtaining an equation in one variable. After this, you can even do substituting in any of the equations and getting the value of x or y. We can do it that way too. So our answer is going to be 30, 60, 120, hence it's going to be 30, 60 and 120 and we do have it. Right, so from here we move ahead. So we have this particular equation 3x minus 4y plus 70z and 2x plus 3y minus 10z and x plus 2y plus 3z is 13. Now here solving these ones could be time consumed so we can preferably take up the uh, method of possibly uh, doing the elimination method. If you see one of the equations is all three positive. So you have x plus 2y plus 3z you have and all these uh, problems we have. In such a case, uh, we just need to substitute these various values among these and see how it satisfies. If you see um, in all, if you see 3, 4 and here you have 70 and among these we could possibly try with this because this seems to be working with this equation. So suppose because the chances of this, this and this are very, very impossible because 1 and 3 and getting cancelled by 70 and getting 0, chances are very less. Chances could be, this could be right. So maybe you could take x as minus 10, y as 10 and z as 1. So if you substitute over here, 3 into minus 10 is minus 30. 10 into minus 4 minus 40 plus 70, yes, it is 70. So, this, this three values are satisfying. Now, let's check in this 2 into minus 10 minus 20. 3 into 10 is plus 30. Minus 10 into 1 is minus 10. Again, this answer is 0. Now, the third one, let's check. X is minus 10. 2 into 10, 20 and 3 into 1, 3 and you have 23 minus 10 is 13. So we are actually checking the pair because one term is negative, the other one is positive here, 1, 2 are positive, 1 negative and all 3 positive. Chances of all 3 being positive numbers are a little less so we could try this but only that could give the net value as 0. Hence we start with this. Hence, it is minus 10, 10, comma 1, which would be. 
as I said earlier, here sitting and solving the equations one by one, eliminating, converting into two equations could be very, very time consuming. And you're dealing with so many numbers, the chances of you making mistakes could be more. Since among these minus 10, 10, 1 is the answer. And that could be the root of these three, these three equations we have. Okay, so yes, that's what we have over here. Okay, so next in line, <coughs> you have sum of the digits in a three digit number is 12. If the digits are reversed, the number is increased by 495. So, for example, what do you mean by reverse digits? It means something like suppose you have 123, the number obtained by interchanging the digits at this and this gets interchanged becomes 3 to 1 but this remains the same. So sum of digits in this in all these three the sum of the digits is 12. So the first condition is satisfied by all these. So we cannot do the elimination here. Let's check if the digits are reversed then the number is increased by 495. So suppose this one we take is 327 plus 495. 7 plus 5 is 2 and you have you have 822 which is not the number obtained by interchanging it's not 723 hence this is out of question what about this 372 plus 495 again 822 822 is not the number obtained by interchanging a digit. It is not 273. So this is out of question. Let us see this one. 237 plus 495 is 237. And it is 732 which is the number obtained by interchanging the digits. So the first condition and the second condition are satisfied by this. Now let's check the third condition. Remember we have an equation in three variables. So there has to be a third equation too. <coughs> but reversing only the tens and units digit. So if you, you reverse only the tens and units digit, you get the number 273. The number increases by 36. Yes, 237. When you add 36 to 237, you get 273. The bottom line that is there is the number obtained, keeping the hundreds place the same and interchanging the tens and units place is a number which is 36 more than this. So yes, 273 is 36 more than this. So it is this number that satisfies all the three conditions. Hence, this is how we have a solution. If you want... We can get the equations this way, x plus y plus z is 12, is one equation. Digits are reversed, that means if you interchange, you have x, y, z as hundreds place, tens place, units place. So if you interchange the digits, that is, you get, this is original number, and if you interchange the digits, you get 100z plus y plus x. This is 495 100x plus y plus z plus 495 is the second equation. This you can solve it and accordingly y gets cancelled and you get an equation in just x and z. And the third one is you are just interchanging at tens in units place. That is 100x plus this would be 10y of course. I'm sorry. And this would also be 10y. And suppose you have interchanging these two, you get 100x plus 10z plus y is 100x plus 10y plus z plus 36. So the 100x part will get cancelled over here and you get this kind of an equation. So when you are interchanging these, the tens place, only the tens in units place, you will get this particular condition. So you can form the equation in these terms and solve them and you can get that. So this is how we can solve this but in this particular case it would be better to solve by substituting the various values which number satisfies all the three conditions. And let's check what the answer is. Yes it is 237.
So thus we have these equations in two variables and equations in three variables and if you see it's a way of uh, checking all these equations all of them follow a similar principle how to ultimately convert it into an equation in one variable from an equation in three variables we have converted into an equation in two variables and from an equation in two variables we convert it into an equation in one variable simple process of elimination we also came across a number of equations which could be solved especially word problems which could be solved even using one variable or using two variables but most of the time in this particular topic the smarter way especially is in an mcq format would be to substitute the values and eliminate all absurd conditions that are there in a very logical manner you save a lot on time